And hello YouTube. Today we got one of those money maker laptops. And at the same time the biggest waste of my time. Here is what usually happens to those uh, models to Asus ROG. Republic of Gamers, I assume that's the uh, GL704GWPS74. That's the model right here. You could see it right here and you could see it right there. 2019 manufacturing 01. The client states that they have to wiggle jiggle the plug for quite some time. Wiggle jiggle the plug. And uh, that's all good. And while you wiggle it, I could still replace the jack and everything gonna work fine. But the problem happens is eventually it stops working. And that's the problem. Uh, the reason it stops working is that the motherboard usually gets shorted. And if the motherboard is shorted, then, uh, well, then we're kind of out of luck. Uh, I, I will try to do the best I can to see if this motherboard is shorted or not. If it's shorted, I will try to do some sort of, uh, some sort of troubleshooting. But anyways, so if it still works from the plug, don't wait until it dies. So this video is going to show you how to take it all apart and how to, you know, if you want to replace the motherboard, you can replace the motherboard. All right, so we got two shorter screws right here and right there. All of the rest of the screws. All of the rest of the screws are are here. So alrighty, let's take all of that. Oh, one more screw right here. Alrighty. Let's lower the brightness a little bit because it's just blinding in here. Alright. Um oh you know what? I needed to add more here. That's a bit cold, that's a bit white. Okay, how about like that? All right, okay. So, to break the shell, to break the shell, we put this guy in there and we break the shell. All right. Wow, 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 wow. You are, what did they put on this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if the new jack gonna be similar to what we got inside. Yeah, it's a similar jack. Yeah, I haven't seen this extra layer, an afterthought of some sort. Anyway, so let's disconnect the battery first. And you know what? People break the battery tab all the time. The way to disconnect the battery probably properly is to move this guy this way like that all right once it moved that way what you want to do is start with this side because you don't want to short those capacitors you want to lift it up like that and like that and set it aside now let's unscrew those screws Alrighty. Alright, so we're gonna set the battery aside. Make sure all of the screws are going into the same position. Alright. Here what you wanna do is, do uh, you wanna disconnect this guy properly? The way you disconnect it is you pull on this guy upwards. And then you kind of jam a flathead screwdriver underneath. Alright, and then you do the same on this side kind of like rock motion okay and here it doesn't want to come out because whatever this board does i'm not sure i'm not sure what that board is there for so let's see if we can just take this whole thing out 
or if we can't take this whole thing out here, we can lift it up like that, like that. What does it do? I have no idea. It's the first time I see something like that uses board. All right, so here we got the hinge covering the motherboard, so you have to unscrew all of the screws on the hinge. All righty. So you unscrew all of the screws on the hinge area. You want to unscrew everything right here as well. And the reason we disconnected the battery first, because any of the screws falling on the motherboard would basically... Okay, so another thing is be careful about those connectors right here. They come off uh, from the motherboard easily. So what you want to do is you want to come from this side right here. All right, and disconnect everything from far away like that. Don't try to disconnect anything on this side. Try to disconnect everything on that side. By the way, if the video is useful, please leave a like, subscribe, I will let you know which laptop models one should buy and which ones one should stay away from. And this is one of those laptops which nobody should ever spend their money on because this is just... It was expensive, first of all, and second of all, the reason it was expensive because it was over-engineered and everything is done through the rear end here. So, if you know what I mean. Uh, but it's a bread and butter for this business. So most of the YouTubers say buy this kind of laptop. And, but, you know, to get subscriptions, I would basically advise you to just stay away, guys. I mean, this is just... This is just an over-engineered piece of equipment which not worth the money. And all of them have, have exactly the same problem with the jack. And eventually once the jack goes, the motherboard goes. And you kind of out of luck you think by replacing the motherboard everything's going to be sold but there is no boards like that available anywhere it wasn't like it was the most common laptop there is to this is a reverse hinge by the way right here you want to disconnect it like that and don't break any of those hinges you need to have a fine piece of uh, equipment to Well, I, I heard people are making money by, uh, uh, by, uh, you know, by playing games online all, all the time and, and they stream it and that's probably one of those PCs for those kind of people. So hopefully the amount of money one makes on YouTube streaming the, how they play the video games is worth it for something like that. By the way, for some reason, the hard drive is loose inside of this casing. So what you want to do is you want to tighten up the screws here because for some reason they're not screwed in all the way. So like that, that way the bracket won't be, that way the hard drive won't be moving in, on the inside. Okay. Strange, why is everything loose? Hmm. Strange, very really strange. All right, so we set the hard drive tight. We want to remove this guy right here. Let's see. We want to remove this guy right here, pull this guy out. You want to remove this connection right here. All right, so those two guys are set to be like that. Okay, so hopefully all of the connections are on this side. Uh, I don't think anybody took the laptop apart before. That's a good thing because uh, I see laptops all the time where everything is broken already. In terms of connectors. Alright, so let's do this one. Now, uh, this is the first time I take apart this kind of, not this kind, this exact model, but most of the rogues are pretty much the same in design. So that's the reason I'm saying they all have exactly the same jack, they all have exactly the same issue. So we're gonna disconnect all that stuff right here. And that's gonna be this guy. Hopefully there is no hidden screws underneath there. I just don't want to take apart the heatsink and realize that I don't need to take apart the heatsink. So here what I'm gonna do is take this guy out. 
and this cable gonna go this way like that and let's see if we can just lift this guy up and all right let's see it doesn't want to go up probably because there might be a screw no there is no screws here i'm gonna put the memory back in there there is no screws here probably there are screws underneath there someplace maybe maybe not i don't know we will see in a second so let's see maybe we can just kind of guide guide this guy out do we have any connections here not we got nothing connected there we probably have this guy screwed in underneath that heatsink probably right yeah no let's see no it doesn't want to bulge no i think i think oh hold on maybe maybe this hinge right here oops sorry about that my head hit the uh hit the camera here let's see maybe maybe the hinge area oh yeah right there that's the guy right here all right all right so i'm just trying to get this guy out like that there's no secrets here Alrighty. so what i want to do Ooh. <laughs> oh my god that's what that's for that's basically the plus is going to this guy right here well, let's see if we get any shortages anywhere here we got some well, let's take a look so that's your balance at zero nothing here because that's whole plus going in right here and there's no shortages here no shortages there no shortages here oh no shortage here and no shortage here that's a good thing let's take a look here maybe nope no that's all good how about here all right uh, well i think we might be in luck because uh because uh i don't see i don't see anything shorted wow so maybe we are in luck because the client stated that um, this thing they had to wiggle 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 until it died completely you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put one screw right there because uh because because otherwise it's gonna be otherwise it's gonna be bouncing around here so what i'm gonna do is then put one right here the reason i didn't want to take uh, the uh, those guys out because there are thermal pads in there by the way if you send it's just the motherboard make sure the box is big enough don't send it in an envelope they always get bent always so make sure it's a box like this big a big all right and it's padded and the box not gonna bend all right every second motherboard we get here it's always the same thing people don't just i mean Sometimes they people put it in an envelope and they insure it. And like, you know, have, have you ever got money out of your insurance for anything? I probably don't claim anything that much, but yeah, so the plus goes here and it goes right to this side of the board. We got a whole bunch of dust in there. All right, so what I want to do, you know what, that's a much better design. In fact, this is a really good design here. I like it because sometimes they put a whole bunch of uh, components next to the jack which can fry for no reason whatsoever so here so that's definitely let's replace this jack and it's probably gonna be working just fine we by the way sell the component for this uh, uh, for this laptop it should be on our website the link should be below and hopefully the sizing of the component is the same the sinking of the component is the same good 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder this connector. It's going to drop from the motherboard and we're going to solder a new one in. So let's switch to the soldering station. All right, so the way how this is going to work is this. We're going to put this uh, uh, silicon pad underneath right here. We're going to direct the hot air flow at the back of the connector. That's too far out. That's proper. Let's start at the low heat setting. Warm up the motherboard. At the same time, we're going to add a little bit more solder to the connections. Like that. And my uh, new solder is a leaded base solder. The leaded base solder is going to mix with the unleaded base solder. And once the unleaded base solder mixes with the leaded base solder, we're going to be able to remove this guy out from the motherboard easy easy well i don't know about how easy it's gonna be but because this is a heavy duty motherboard so to speak it's really thick it dissipates heat heat really well and you want to direct the heat directly onto this guy all right all righty and now you probably want to flip the motherboard as well and try and add the solder to the top side okay and this side as well well you see it doesn't want to pick up without the hot air blowing over it okay now it's picking up all right good job so now we mixed the old solder and the new solder oh okay let's raise it up a little bit now can you do it without the mixing you can but you require a lot more hot air going into the connection area. All right, so now is a good time to start moving this guy off of the motherboard. All right, like that, like that, and like that. Good job. Super. Excellent. Now reduce the heat a little bit. Bring the guy over. And let's use a number three, I think, uh, soldering rig to suck all of the solder out. And how does it look like? Yeah, it looks okay. So what we want to do is we want to just do... Okay like that all right let's see if we're gonna be able to now we need to increase well we probably just need to bring the hot air source a bit closer yeah let's try and Looks really good.
let's clean up the top side and I need to cut the leaf Alrighty, let's look at the top side here. Uh-oh. Picking up my tip from all of the plastic. Alrighty. All right, so what I want to do here is work on that guy right there because it's not exactly I'm almost out of this soldering week, so let's remove it from the All right, looks good. Let's remove the hot air altogether. Let's remove all of the insulation. All right. Now let's bring in the new jack, which is identical, seems like it. Yep, identical. Alrighty. All right. All right. Yeah, the board here dissipates heat really well so this is one of the Lenovo attempts at trying to get it at the Apple category now let's do pluses all right all right and the pluses are well done we're gonna bridge the pluses together like that and we want to bridge the pluses together on this side as well 
Oh, probably let's do the minuses too. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, good luck here because um, the space is limited. Yeah, not gonna work. Yeah. So the way how you solder the rear is only basically through the bottom. I mean, there is no way you could. I mean, there is a way. I mean, right like that. How about like that? All right, good job. I was able to bridge it here. Good. That's excellent. How about this guy? Am I able to? Yep, I am able to bridge this guy as well. All right. Pretty good here. Excellent. I like the way how it's done. Good job. Hopefully everything got recorded. So what we're going to do next is we're going to just uh, clean up the area. Like that, like that. And like that. Good job. Excellent. So here, let's do Let's remove some excess right there. Let's make sure. All right, good. Let's clean up the bottom. All right. And people can't read the website where it says text us or email us. And they call us. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I got interrupted by the phone call. Yeah, basically, you know, people call us when we recording a video or do some kind of other repair and it kind of interrupts the whole process. Thankfully, nowadays we can pause the video. Back in the days, we couldn't stop, we couldn't pause the video because there was no such option when you're doing the multiple camera recording. Nowadays, it's it looks good. Okay, let's air dry everything. So the goal is to get all of the ISP evaporated. All right. Let's do here this side. All right, looks good. Wonderful. All righty. Let's make sure that there is no shortages anywhere. All right, the minuses are fine and the positives should go right, right there. Strange, but they don't go right there where I need. Yeah, they do go. Okay. Okay. Let's bring the casing this way. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see how they insulated the metal just by putting little tape on it. One of the reasons why the whole thing gonna break in the future. All right, hopefully I soldered it the right way. This is the top. And yes, I did solder it the right way. So we're gonna take all of those cables out of the way. We're gonna put it like that, like that. Let's bring this cable over. We're gonna bring it down like that. We're gonna bring this cable over, that cable, this cable, and this cable. And voila! 
All right, so if you think job is done, job is not done simply because it might not work because it might be something isn't right with the... Well, you know what, let me first put it all back together. And then I will see. Well, let's hope for the best. Let's hope that it's gonna work. All right. All right. Okay. Right here, we need to unscrew this guy and probably put this guy right there like that. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna connect this guy here like that. All right, so maybe this guy be a little bit that way this way right okay let's see if the board gonna get installed on that place well enough okay so we're gonna unscrew the screw and let's install the board that conducts the positive end from this end to that end Unbelievable design. I never seen anything like that in my life. And I've been in business of doing power jack repairs. Wait some time. It is going perfectly fine. Yeah, it went in perfectly fine. So here we're gonna put one screw right here, another screw right there. All right, and on this end we are good. So here we're gonna. Okay, here we're just gonna run some tape. Well, we got still the old tape remaining here. Let's see if it's gonna get attached. No, it doesn't wanna get attached. All right, no big deal. We got enough tape. Mm, this guy's supposed to be this guy's supposed to be in here like that and this guy's supposed to be like that all right on this end we got this guy here come on And we connect this guy right there. And we connect this guy right here like that. Let's screw in this guy here. That guy there. All right, let's remove this guy for right now. Let's connect the and let's remove this guy too. Okay, so 
the way how it's gonna work is this we're gonna connect the black wire uh yeah looks looks okay yeah we're gonna connect the black wire like that like that and come on Okay, black and we connect the blue. The blue. And we connect the white one right there. Okay, and we connect the gray one right down this way. Gray, okay. Okay, and here we got this guy, and this is gonna be a speaker right here. All right, like that, and we're gonna drop it like that, and like that. Good job, excellent. Now let's connect the Power drive. First, I want to connect the cable to the maybe I should put it down first and then connect the cable. I don't want to bend this cable because it's proprietary cable which there is no way there is another one like that anywhere in the United States anytime soon. Okay, so close it like that. Let's screw down the hard drive. Okay. Like that. It's set to the oh well it's set to the too much torque. All right, good job. Now let's do the touchpad connection. Okay. Touchpad connection here. This guy right there. And keyboard right here. All right, hopefully nobody touch the connections here okay so what i want to do is i want to see if so there is the central screw that's going to be here right so so what i need to do is i need to put one screw right here and another screw gonna go right here Oh, they put brushless fan in there. Wow, that's, you know, if they only could put a proper jack, and that's a proprietary design, by the way, too. Oh, that's nice, as I was thinking it's Lenovo, never mind. <laughs> they all the same. As is Lenovo to me, they all look the same to me nowadays. But yeah, I'm thankful that they do exist. Otherwise, I am. Not gonna be in business. The more over engineered stuff, the more in business I am. So here. Alrighty. All right. Alrighty. All right, looks to me that everything is screwed in and placed just fine. 
All right, this guy is in. And everything looks solid, so let's connect the battery. Let's connect the battery. And before I'm gonna screw everything on top, what I wanna do is I wanna put the cover back in place. All right, and let's see if it's gonna work because I'm Republic of Gamers. Let's see if this guy gonna work. All right, let's see. By the way, sometimes you could look inside of that guy and you see a whole bunch of oxidation, which I see right here. That oxidation is not really that good. You see like orangey, orangey stuff in there. And you can't really do much anything about it. You will probably need another. Uh, I mean, if I would have more time, I would uh, put some contact cleaner in there. But because I don't really have time, the client is waiting outside right now. I will tell them to use some contact cleaner on this. All right, it does conduct electricity, but I can, I can guarantee you that this oxidation right there is not good. It's really common. So if you got one of those laptops, you'll probably need another power supply as well. All right, so we connected that. And... And we get nothing. Well, uh, no, we do get a light right there. We got a... This guy, I didn't even press it. And now we're gonna get the image, I hope. The board lights up. Come on, show me some image. Okay. Yeah, we got the Republic of Gamers right there. All right. Good. Now the thing to keep in mind is that uh, you see this light? That's what I was talking about. This guy right there is uh, oxidated on the inside. The barrel itself is oxidated. So even though right there it shows that it's charging on the right hand side right here. All right. Once I let go of it, no, it still charges. All right, let me show you what I mean here. Oh, it doesn't charge anymore right there. Okay. All right, right there. You see, this is charging because I kind of found the sweet spot inside of that barrel. And now I'm going to let go. Still kind of charges. Well, the goal is that this, this, the whole thing works, all right? The problem is this connector is oxidated on the inside. So the connection still won't be solid. Okay. All right. All right, so the connection will still be solid unless you buy a new power supply, which I don't sell, but you still need to get it off of eBay or some, some other source. Um, this one could be anything because it's just a plus and a minus. There is no data signal coming through in here. And the problem again is oxidation on the inside. I will use some contact cleaner to clean up the oxidation, but, the, but that will be a bit temporary. So, here, let me connect. Oops. So we got... Uh, this guy right there. And 
Let's go right here. Seems a bit too long. No, they're all the same size. Yeah, they're all the same size. Okay. So the those two are not the same size, but the rest of it are the same size. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. And it requires 230 watts. Again, that could be a generic one because even though it says ADP right here, ADP. Uh, what else does it say? 230 GB B. Um, again, I will try to use some contact cleaner and hopefully it's gonna do something in there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and you guys take care and have a good day. Please leave a like, subscribe and take care. Thank you.